Some time ago I released a video of the construction project we had going on, on in our garden area and we were building a gnome home. I know, I'm not sure that there are any actual gnomes living in it, but I'm kind of finished with it now and I kind of really like it a lot. We had this tree stump which was the result of having to cut down a very large old maple tree that was diseased and had to come down. <clears throat> we saved money by having him leave a stump, but a tree stump is kind of ugly. But we have this gnome home that we built. Let me give you a little closer look. This is something that our dogs absolutely love, and I will show you because they're all itching to get in here to visit the gnome home. But um, let me just show you around first. You'll notice that I stained the roof, painted the front, and the back too is painted, but you know, we're looking at the front. Um, put nice little decorative trim around that blue painted area. We have windows. We have more windows. More windows. There's even a window here with an elf who looks like he's trying to jump, but there's another elf down here trying to rescue him. And we have our magic mushroom garden. Magic because it glows at night. It's solar powered. And a little rock house there. And Oh, we got a new guy who is pumping water. That lights up at night. Solar powered. And of course the infamous front door where I savaged my leg with a chainsaw as I was trying to carve those steps into the tree trunk. So let's get the dogs in here. I mean Apple is already here. I don't know if you can see her right down there but um, she knows how to jump over this little fence, but nobody else does. If you hear a little whining, that's Etta trying to get into the gate. So I'm going to go over and open the gate. Etta and Bootsy will come in, and maybe we can also coax Sherlock into coming in. Sherlock likes it in this area. Okay, you two. Opening the gate. Come on in, whoops. Sherlock, Sherlock come. Sherlock come, I'm letting you in. You don't have to squeeze through the bars, but I guess you're going to, good boy. So, Apple's very much at home here. She spends a lot of time in this area. Sherlock is still small enough to squeeze through the bars in the gate, so he very often comes in here when I don't want him in here. Etta and Bootsy have to be uh, let in. They, they have to wait. And Boo, usually, I mean, she's kind of old. She sleeps through a lot of this stuff. So. Sherlock. Hey, Sherlock. Come. Sherlock, come. He's doing well with come, by the way. Sherlock, come. Look. That's a good boy. Oh, but somebody already knocked over one of the magic mushrooms. So what do you think, Sherlock, huh? What do you think of the gnome home? Come here, buddy. No, Apple, you are very experienced at the gnome home, aren't you? Yeah, I know. So, um, what do we think? Hmm? Have you tried going in the front door? Have you met the newest gnome? I don't know. I'm not sure they actually like the gnome home so much as just like being in an area of the yard that's normally off limits to them. Sherlock's favorite thing actually when he's in this area is to kind of hide among those uh, wildflowers that we have back there and uh, chew branches and leaves when he can. Sherlock, that's a very pretty pink flowering plant. We don't want you to ruin it.
And Etta, thank you very much for helping me do the weeding. I know that area has some weeds that I have to get out and uh, I do appreciate your help. I think uh, Bootsy is also helping with the weeding. Kind of hard to see a black and tan down in, among all those weeds. Yeah. You'll notice that everything is very nicely cleaned up here. I did a, a weeding job and it, it looks quite nice there. We got our flowers and our uh, our weeping cherry tree. And over there we have some other plants. We have some ground cover here that really has grown in quite nicely and is covering all this bare area next to the gnome home. But this is the one spot that I still have to weed. It's so nice to have dogs who are willing to help. Sherlock, Sherlock, come. Sherlock, come. Good boy. So, I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing our progress with the gnome home and how much the dogs enjoy the garden. Now, the hardest job lies ahead of me. I have to get them all out of here. Usually Apple I can call, she'll jump right over the fence, that's no problem. But the other ones, I kind of have to chase them down and say, okay, let's go, and bribe them with a treat. So, we'll work on that. Good girl. <laughs>